<clears throat> All right, so um, I believe that we handled introductions here just a moment ago, so I'm, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead and jump right into our, our concept and, and, and what it means. And, and <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So we're, um, so our, our concept is uh, the heart of unity, and the idea is um, six ribbons coming together to, to form a heart, um, whereby looking through the heart, it frames Main Street and the city. Um, the symbolism behind the heart, I think, became the uh, prevailing message in our community. And I think that moving forward, again, uh, reflecting on what I said in the last presentation, is that this is this is a positive message that we want to uh, present as we move forward. Obviously, it is a memorial. It, it implies that, but but I think the community uh, needs to have a symbol that provides healing. So, um, with that said, the uh, the location um, uh, Dave is going to speak to, and uh, we'll hand it back over. Yeah, so now this is a little bit different than the Main Street Memorial. Um, in this case, obviously, the, the um, commission and the, the city selected Greedy Park as where this memorial would happen. So in our looking at the park and how our design would fit, we felt that it was important to create a connection back to Main Street, even if it was only symbolic. Um, but the, um, the main idea of taking these six ribbons that each, um, each ribbon for one of the victims um, they come together to form this heart, and this heart will essentially frame a view back to Main Street as a reminder. So that's kind of the symbology of the concept. So in citing this, um, we position it up towards the north end of Greedy Park in order to get that orientation of the heart framing the view back to Main Street, which is just what we're illustrating here with this diagram. Um, and as you'll see in some of the the later images, um, Greedy Park does have some natural topography where it slopes down towards the river. Um, it's about five or six feet, and so what you'll see in, in ours and maybe some of the others is um, what we've done is we've recessed the uh, memorial down into the ground a little bit. It is open out towards the riverside, so it's not, I'm not going to call it sunken, but it is recessed down a little bit um, to create some separation from the street. Um, some of our concerns was with traffic and noise, so by dropping it down into the grades a little bit, it, it does alleviate some of that. We can go to the next. So just a quick overview here, and again, I, I, I know a lot of you saw our, our submittal um, the last time around. We did make some revisions to the site here. There was some comments about potentially being in the right-of-way, so we, we narrowed up the, um, our, the shape of this into a little bit more of an ellipse to pull it back away from St. Paul. Um, but this does illustrate the, the main concept here, again, of the six individual ribbons coming together to create this heart of unity in the center, um, and it put on an access to orient back towards Main Street. You're done. So a little bit more of an aerial view here um, where we're coming down to see um, the shape and the geometry of this. And I think this view does do a good job of showing these ribbons. Um, each ribbon starts at a birch tree um, dedicated to one of the victims. And we form the ribbon with a bench and a small memorial uh, plaque at, at the end of the bench there. And then these ribbons weave through the site. They help shape the landscape beds that you're seeing. And then, uh, you know, at the end, they come into the center of the site and they, they form this harp shape. Okay, so then this is, um, this is obviously the view of when we were first sketching in the office and we were all sharing ideas and brainstorming. This was the view that we were trying to create was all of these uh, ribbons coming up to form the shape and the view back towards Main Street. Again, even if it is somewhat symbolic, there's some landscaping and another park in between here, but um, it's, it's the idea and the symbolism of it. This view also gives you, um, it illustrates, we did make some modifications to the geometry. Um, the heart was modified slightly and the ribbons, um, we took the ribbons, we sunk them further down into the ground to try and prevent some issues with skateboarding and vandalism that we had heard as comments at the last meeting. You will see where the ribbon raises up here to form the edges of these planting beds. Um, and then the geometry of the heart, with the ribbons being sunk down, they actually they kind of twist when they come up to form the heart. So some minor changes to what was presented. Um, this is also a good view where you can see the, uh, the plaques, the dedication plaques at each of the benches here. Uh, at that point, I'm going to turn it over to Angie. All right. 
So I am back with the key elements. Um, our first one, as Dave pointed out, the connection to Main Street, that was the view we were all going for when we were designing. Um, we wanted to maintain that connection to the downtown area um, from the Greedy Park. And then the memorial benches. So each ribbon begins with a memorial plaque. Um, the concrete ribbon kind of surrounds that and starts from there, and that forms a bench for a place to sit and remember. Um, everyone coming here is going to have a different experience from what they want, whether it's a family member or a neighbor or somebody just wanting to seek some peace. So every everyone's going to experience it differently, and we wanted to have the individual um, dedications at those um, benches. So there are six of them from the six ribbons um, for each victim. Um, again, that memorial plaque is something that we want to work with the families on to decide what you want to see on that plaque um, whatever your wishes are we can we'll work with you on on that and make that happen um, the next one um, would be the ribbons so the six ribbons representing the ones that we lost converging in the center as what we're calling the heart of unity um, the heart represents our community um, everybody's connected at the center um, and then the the heart of unity itself. Um, this help, heart is a reminder of strength. Um, the ribbons may represent the individuals, but the heart represents all of us, and that we're unified as one. And all of this is made from concrete. Um, the idea is that that, again, symbolizes the strength and stability that we have as a community for the sculpture. So the next one is the birch trees that Dave mentioned um, that were out in, at, out to the sides of the park itself. Um, we chose the birch tree for a number of reasons. Um, each birch tree would be dedicated. Three minutes. The um, symbol of the birch tree, the symbol is hope and new beginnings. It is native to Wisconsin, and this birch tree in particular is a heart-shaped leaf birch tree. Um, it's first to come back. Um, and then we also have a dedication wall, which is for the first responders, um, for the survivors, for those that were injured, and anybody who's impacted. And we would like to work with a local artist to prepare the mural for that as well. If you want to play the video, and we can kind of talk through the other options here. Um, the materials in the park would be concrete pavers um, in a lighter gray around each memorial bench and then a darker gray in the center. Again, the concrete for the ribbons. Next one. This is a close-up of our bench. Um, we would have some lighting here underneath the bench and again, the memorial plaque. Another view just showing how the mural would integrate into the park setting. And then a beautiful nighttime shot showing that blue light that we'd like to cast upon that heart. Um, and then I'm back with the, with the estimated costs. So, um, always the toughest part again. But the reality is, is that we do construction every day. Uh, we do projects up to, you know, our largest project lately is 16 million. Many of our projects are in the 1 million to 5 million range. So we are pretty comfortable with where costs are coming in. I think city staff could also talk to you about what they see for costs as, as it relates. But for instance, to break down some numbers, landscaping, 60,000, excavation of a site, 150,000, concrete patio pavers, the entire concrete patio pavers, everything, 523,000, that includes the walls, that includes everything. Re Retaining wall itself to to form that forty thousand light and electrical another thirty five thousand the form work for creating the heart in the center is about forty three thousand and then we'd have stone uh, stone fill and all the utilities uh, at ninety three thousand so um, again this is just a rough estimate I believe again that costs can come down when we work with the community but um, we've been asked to provide real numbers so that that's what that's what we did so. Do you guys any other things that you would like to add? We talked about the lighting at all or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>